So anybody who's been watching my channel for any length of time knows I have several solar power battery chargers for each one of my vehicles. There's the one in my Jeep. Now here's the only funny thing. This solar charger, I had one, This the one that's in this Jeep now was in my dad's white expedition that my dad's expedition but he's got it work right now but that solar charger set in his expedition right where Frankie's sitting for months and months actually where the Jeep's sitting now but it set for months and months and months with that battery charger connected and I could get in at any time and hit the key and it'd start right up this Jeep's been sitting for two well it's actually been sitting for almost a month now um just here in the yard it had I, it was over here then I moved it over here, parked it here. A week later, I came out here to try to crank it, and the battery was dead. And that solar charger's been on it for, like I said, since I took it off the road. So, for some reason, that panel is not charging my battery. Now, I'll show you this. It's connected right now. It's plugged into power right now. And uh, you see that green light? That says it's charging. But guess what? My battery's dead as a doornail. I've been wondering why I haven't had any power. I thought it might be the ignition switch, maybe the starter cable. No, the battery was just flat dead. That panel has not char been charging the battery for some odd reason. I don't understand why. It's the same one in my dad's expedition that sat for months and it start started every time. What the hell's going on? Why will it wouldn't it keep my battery and my Jeep charged up? I could put it in Frank and it'd keep the battery charged up. Any of my other Fords I can put in to keep the battery charged up will not charge my Jeep. It did for a couple of weeks. I let it sit for two weeks within there. Hit the key, it fired right up, moved it around. Let it sit for two more weeks in a different location. And it started right up. Then I moved it over here to the front yard. Now, now it won't, uh, now it won't charge the battery. It's been sitting flat dead for about a week. But, as you can see, notice this drop cord right here. I got my trusty trickle charger hooked up. As you can see, the Walmart Special EverStart Max. It's a 4 amp battery charger and maintainer. I think I paid 50 bucks for it. You can see that light. So it's charging my battery now. Again, this is a brand new battery. It shouldn't be flat dead. I bought it April last year, so it's only a little over a year old, but it shouldn't be dead. That solar charger should be charging it, and for some reason, it's just not charging it now. But it will charge any of my other Fords. I just don't understand it. Makes no sense. I don't have any lights on it. I mean, it does have a mind of its own, but because the headlights will come on when I'm not even here. Sometimes they come on by themselves, and then they'll go out after a few seconds. But that doesn't happen all the time. Just once in a blue moon. But still, it sh that's not enough to kill the battery. Because if that was enough to kill the battery, then back when I was driving it on the road back and forth every day, I'd have to jump it every day. But it's not. Brand new alternator, brand new starter, brand new battery. Why the hell is the solar charger not charging it when it'll charge any other vehicle I got in the yard and keep it charged up? Beats me. I've got at least four of these solar battery chargers. Four of them. One here in my Jeep. One in the back. Actually, two in my Jeep, but one back in the back back here I got put away. That was on my dad's truck. And actually, the one that's in the back of the Jeep now was on Frankie. That one's on my dad's truck. I got one on my white, on my white expedition up on the hill. And I also got one in my black F-150 up on the hill. The battery charges, keeps all those batteries charged up. I don't, haven't had a problem with any one of them, but for some reason, it will not keep my battery in my Jeep charged, maintained. I don't get it. That is just the biggest mind boggle of them all. Now, these solar chargers are relatively cheap. 50, 60, 70 bucks. That's why I got so many of them. I buy one about every paycheck or so. 
and um, I haven't had any complaints. I just don't understand why the hell it will not charge the battery in my Jeep and keep it maintained when it'll keep all my Fords maintained. They're all V8s. Just, I don't know, maybe just something, maybe it, the panel's just faulty in a way. I don't get it. I just, you know, but I got several of these solar chargers. All the rest of them work fine, but I guess they all have their faults sometimes. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but thank y'all for watching.